Tonight Show, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. One day, one day after his disastrous summit with Vladimir Putin, it is starting to dawn on some people Trump may be a bad president. <laughs> Even Trump officials are embarrassed by his Putin show. Now they're embarrassed? <laughs> Look, I was with them with the Nazis and imprisoning children, but siding with the Ruskies? They killed Apollo Creed. <laughs> Wolverines! Wolverines! Different movie, but similar idea. Now, right after the summit, Trump thought he did great until he got on Air Force One and his mood grew foul as the breadth of the critical reactions became clear. <laughs> look, look, don't worry about these clowns. That's fake news, okay? Turn on Fox. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's what he sounds <laughs> like. Actually, hurt a little. And apparently, Aid steered clear of the front of the plane to avoid being trapped with a venting session <laughs> with Trump. Uh, attention, passengers. This is your pilot speaking. Uh, you're gonna want to fasten your seatbelts because no one is flying this plane. I am not going up there. <laughs> so this afternoon. Trump went into emergency spin mode and summoned Republican leaders to the White House to watch his induction into the lying hall of fame. <laughs> he started by talking about the highlight of his trip. We met with the queen, who is absolutely a terrific person, where she reviewed her honor guard for the first time in 70 years, they tell me. Then they lied to you. <laughs> because she hasn't even been queen for 70 years. And here she is doing it just a few years ago. But that's just a warm up lie, okay? Trump knows you gotta limber up before you start yanking the big ones out of your keister. <laughs> he also bragged about how well things had gone during the NATO summit. I entered the meeting with the firm conviction that diplomacy and engagement is better than hostility and conflict. And I feel that with everybody. When I left, everybody was thrilled. That is not a lie. <laughs> That one, I believe. We'd all be thrilled if you left. <laughs> then... <laughs> My is crawling the dead then look what happened the moment he addressed his public betrayal of the intelligence community. Let me begin by saying that uh, once again, the full faith and support for America's intelligence agencies. I have a full faith in our intelligence agencies. Whoops, they just turned off the light. That must be the intelligence agencies. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. You guys okay? Good. That was strange. That, that was strange. Putin told me the attack on the power grid wasn't supposed to be till next Tuesday. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll start strangling my cabinet now. <laughs> Mnuchin, get over here. <laughs> oh, well, after the lights went back on, Trump tried his best to support his intelligence agencies. I accept our intelligence community's conclusion that Russia's meddling in the 2016 election took place. Could be other people also. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. No! No! You shanked even that! You either accept it was Russia or say it could be other people. You can't do both. I, Donald, take you, Melania, to be my lawfully wedded wife, although I could take other people too. There's a lot of people out there. <laughs> you know, he should issue a wanted poster. Wanted for hacking the 2016 election, Russia, somebody else, or everybody else. <laughs> And a lot of people were upset yesterday when Donald Trump said this. My people came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others. They said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. Would be. He really hit that word. Would be. As usual, he's leading with his would. So... <laughs> He sees no reason why Russia would hack our election. That needs no clarification. 
I realize that there is a need for some clarification. Okay, I stand corrected. Um, <laughs> all right, Mr. President, I'll bite. Let's see how dumb you think the American people are. In a key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't or why it wouldn't be Russia. Yes, the sentence should have been that. It was not that. <laughs> but then again, who among us hasn't said the exact opposite of what he just said in front of cameras on multiple occasions? I'm sorry, let me clarify. That sentence should be, who among us has not not done that? <laughs> if you can just add a new word in, what's, the, what's next? After Charlottesville, I meant to say there's bad people on both sides. And also, on that bus, I meant to say, respect her by the pussy. <laughs> okay. You remember what he said? And I'm... And I'm just... So, of all the terrible words he said in that press conference, you're only taking back one of them? I meant to say, wouldn't, okay? But that part where I was asked to condemn Putin, but instead I improvised a surrealist slam poem about Hillary's email server? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Trump unre non clarified further. Just to repeat it, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. And the sentence should have been, and I thought it would be maybe a little bit unclear on the transcript or unclear on the actual video, the sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. Yes. It's a double negative, like Donald and Trump. <laughs> and then... Nice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>